Hey, hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews, Beer Tubers. Now, again, empty glass. So, what are we going to put in it? A beer. What else? Anyway, um, again, uh, going along with the theme that I've been doing since the last video, which will be the second video, and there will be a third. Um, I stopped down at Vintage Estates the other day, and uh, what a great place. Vintage Estates in Boardman, Ohio. If you guys can get out here, man, come on out. Get down there. Um, check them out. They got a pretty darn good selection, and uh, they happened to get some things in that were pretty new. Well, in our neck of the woods. So, without further ado, one that I've been looking forward to try, and the label has changed because of legal disputes this is the vampire slayer this is their second year anniversary mm, 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 mm. an imperial american stout now before i get into this it's uh 10 percent alcohol by volume it does not give me any ibus but i'm pretty sure that they're going to be low um it just says in a world full of uncertainty hardships and people trying to hold us back we do we need vampires Two. Hmm. Clownshu says no. Die, monsters, die. I like that. That little saying there. I had to put that out there. And then it says uh, our second anniversary incorporates a signature dark malt, holy water, and malt smoked locally with hickory, ash, and vampire killing steaks. Very nice to keep the theme going right there. So, let me pop this open and get into this wonderful ball, man. I'm a Mm. Nice fair amount of smoke, and here she comes. All on her own. Look at that. So we'll do a casually small pour here. Give her some head. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Go ahead and set this off to the side over here. Like that bottle, really like that bottle. Now, as for the beer itself, coloring almost looks like jet black. I can't really see anything in it, but if we use our little trusty light here, we'll actually get the true color of the beer. Now, I like to do this every now and then because I really like to know what the true color of the beer is. And this ought to tell you, man, this bright light, look at that. This is a true stout. Why I say true stout is because of the sheer fact that this is not emitting any light through it whatsoever. Whatsoever. Now you've seen how bright that was. See, look at that. It just blinds you. But no lights getting through that whatsoever. So we'll turn that off, set this aside. Hey, I, I really like to do that because that lets me know that this is as dark as it's going to get. So as for um, the head of it, nice, creamy. It's settled down to about a finger's worth of head. It's nice, creamy up on top and rocky. Um, you got bigger bubbles down at the bottom, but they just go to tight-laced um, bubbles up on top. Um, head seems pretty steady, and I'm definitely getting the aroma of chocolate already. Yes, you're definitely picking up on that, uh, the chocolate already, and you're definitely picking up on some of those uh, hickory notes that were off to the side of the bottle over here. Um, with, uh, with that said, um, let me see if I can pick anything else up real quick. Ah, oh, there it is, the smoke. I'm definitely getting some of the smoke now. Just smells really, really, really lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and top her off real quick and get into it. Oh, look at that. There we go. Like that, man. Gross. Mm. There it is. 
that chocolate's definitely front forward. Um, you're definitely getting the big roasted characteristics to it. So it's going the chocolate's going to hit you first to me. This is what I'm getting from it. Chocolate is definitely hitting you first. And then it goes all of a sudden, it's got that nice, smooth, creamy body that just glides right into like this. You get the, 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 the smoke, and then you get some of that hickory notes to it. So, um, it's very, like, that nice dark chocolate from, like, uh, um, a bakery. That's what's hitting me first. I'm definitely getting a, a nice big malt body to it. Um, I'm going to dive in again, man. Excuse me. You're getting just a hint of like a, a, a black licorice. Mm. That is nice, smooth, and creamy for sure. That's what I really love about this beer so far. I mean, that, that nice chocolatey body, that, that little hint of smoke, that little hint of hickory, and just that big body. That That's awesome, man. So if you haven't had this, man, get out, find it, seek it out, especially, you know, hey, collect that bottle right there, that label. You won't see it again, man. It's going to change, but the beer inside won't change. So with that said, I'm about to get up out of here. Hey, do not drink and drive. Do not text and drive. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Hey, and I have a new new site that I'm, you know, starting to build up. I will post that, you know, when it's done. Uh, done and said with so everybody can come over and check it out um hey man i'm up out of here man peace post deuce and see you on the flip side man peace